Hey guys, so guess what? <laughs> I'm back. Um, I know I have not been doing videos at all for like a couple of years now. Please excuse my bed. It's a mess. But um, I do want to say that I am still a Vera Bradley lover, obviously, because I have a new pattern um, that just came out last month. Um, life has just been crazy busy. I've had so many things change in the past two years. It's been crazy, but good. Um, one thing that has changed that, you know, kind of makes me sad a little bit, but it's okay, um, is I'm down to two pets. I have my cat, Willow. Which I don't know if y'all remember from my last video. She was just like five months old. And then I still have my dog Bentley. Um, in fact, here's Bentley right here. Hey, buddy. And Willow's over there by my clean laundry. Okay, that's clean. <laughs> but anyways, I thought I would do a what's in my bag video. I got a request to do one. And I know I haven't done a video in a very long time. And... I've really been digging into these um, videos on YouTube and figured I would somewhat contribute. So, as y'all can see, I have a small Vera. This is a small Vera tote in the new pattern French Paisley. I got this the day that it was released. This is actually my birthday gift from my mom. She asked me what I wanted and I told her and she ordered it. And I was like, great, because it was on sale. It was awesome. So I'm going to go through the bag for you. So um, here in this zipper pocket, I have just one thing. Of course, it's all the way at the bottom. Um, my everyday chapstick. This is a lifesaver. Love that. And that's all that I keep in there. But if I have like a receipt or an extra mask or anything, I just put it in there. And then in this pocket, as you can see, I have a mask. And this is in the resort medallion pattern. And then I also have one in Flutter Butterfly, the navy with the bright colored butterflies, and a houndstooth print that I cannot think of on top of my head. Then I have my work ID, which I'm not going to get out because of privacy reasons. Then I have a of course, the hand sanitizer, which I'm going to put an extra one in there tonight because I go through these pretty frequently. I drop that. I'll get it later. And then you'll see um, I still have this same keychain, the Be Happy, that I got at Walmart. It's actually a really nice keychain, and I got it on clearance, I believe, or it might have only been like $2, and it just adds a little bit of fun to the bag. And the straps, I love the straps. I love how long they are. They, It just goes so easily around my arm. And I'm not a small girl. I'm full figured. So it's a very easy bag for me to carry. And then you can kind of tell that there's like a hide and seek pocket right here. And this is where I keep my car keys. So I have my car keys and all kinds of keys on here i got this cute keychain not too long ago because it reminds me of bentley which is right here see it looks just like him so cute um and then i actually did get this as a free birthday gift at the vera bradley outlet store last month yes i did buy a bunch of stuff and i should have done a haul video I might, I don't know, I still haven't decided, but regardless, there's my keys. And now we'll get into the bag. You see how easy it was to unzip. 
such a nice bag. Now, I normally don't carry this every day, this word search book that I love to do word searches. Um, but if I do carry it, I just lay it on top or I'll shimmy it down into the bag. But anyways, you can see it's a pretty nice thick book and it fits pretty easily on here. And you kind of see I'm all Vera Bradley out with everything in here. Um, so I guess we'll start with the pockets and then we'll do the inside stuff. So I'm going to start in this corner. So I have a highlighter. This is for my word search, honestly. And then I have my portable charger. It's thin. And then I have an extra chapstick got to have that and then I have a I uh, forgot what this is called but it's in Zuzani it's a little tech organizer thing I have my headphones and the cord to the um, portable charger in there and I think that's it in that pocket yep and in this pocket I have a small zip ID and Garden Grove and I have my Sam's Club card and some old receipts that I wanted to keep or that I need to keep up with and just random business cards and whatnot. Then I have a coin purse in Charmont Meadow. There's the bee. Oh and then I drop it. Guys, I'm so sorry. But I noticed that a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, you have great pattern placement. There's the B. So I got a B on here. And the funny thing is, this was the last one when I went to the outlet. Um, and I have change in there. Don't get mad at me. This is not why we have a shortage, okay? I just have it so I can have exact change when I go to the store. <laughs> Then I have a thing of the Colgate Wisp. I love these, especially on the go. Have a random ponytail in that pocket. Let me turn the bag around. Then in this pocket, I have a travel pill case. I think this is in Elderberry, I believe. And there we go, unzip it. And I have just regular medication in here. So I have Tums for um, heartburn. I have some Motrin. I have some ibuprofen, some Tylenol, some Excedrin, and allergy pill. And I normally have my um, medication in here that I need to refill. And then I have an empty one for... If there was something else that I wanted to add in there. <laughs> so I keep that in there. I like to have medication when I need it. Then in this middle pocket, I have a little coin purse. And I think this is Emerald Paisley. I think. Um, and it just has cough drops. I like to have some kind of hard candy with me because if I start coughing up a mess, it gets so bad and my throat gets irritated and yeah, it's not a good thing. So I keep something like that. And then this last pocket, I have some of that extra refreshers, polar ice gum, good stuff. And then that is it in the slip pockets and now for the main compartment I just have my two big items so first one is a turn lock wallet this is in Bloomberry I actually got this on clearance last month um, I want to say I paid $14 for it at the outlet mall which isn't bad and it's a really cute pattern I love the pink and the pop of teal and I just have my license my insurance information other stuff behind here that's private my everyday cards and then there's another slot back there for some more cards 
Um, there's a back zip for coins, which I don't use that. If anything, I'd use it for um, if there's something I needed to keep up with or business cards or something that I needed to keep separate. Sorry, zipper got caught. <laughs> and then back here, I have a checkbook cover. This is in Totally Turk. It's a very old pattern. Um, then I have some receipts. As you can tell, I need to do my... Um, I need to balance my checkbook. This wallet is RFID protected, which is great. And then I have literally like $3. <laughs> I like have no money, guys. It's pathetic. But anyways, there's my wallet. <laughs> and then the last thing I have is a medium cosmetic. Um, this is in the new pattern or newer pattern Cloud Vine. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I actually am not very fond of this pattern. It looks a lot better on camera um, than it does in person. I don't know why. It, to me, it looks messy in person. I don't know. Um, it Basically, like the background does not look as clear as it does on the camera. Very, very weird. So this pattern photographs well, but is not great in person. And the funny thing is, is Garden Grove photographs awful, like it looks awful to me on the website, but looks beautiful in person. I absolutely love this pattern. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm thinking I'm probably just going to sell this and wait till garden grove goes on sale and get stuff in that pattern um but regardless i do like this style of cosmetic there's a lot of room and it has an extra um a, like a little bit more organization than just the regular medium cosmetics did in the past so in this front zipper I keep my, you know, feminine products. So I have a pad, I have several tampons, different sizes. I have the little summer eve wipes to go to, you know, feel fresh. Then I also have some panty liners. So I like to be prepared when it comes to that kind of stuff. So I have a good bit. And then in the bulk of the bag as you can see i have quite a bit so we'll go ahead and get started on all that so i have a lotion i got this at ulta and i absolutely love this lotion it is not greasy it um you know your skin just absorbs it right up and you know obviously that whole symbol right there threw me off because you know whatever but um it's hemp seed oil and it really does hydrate it's a really really good lotion if you have not tried it I really recommend you at least try a sample in Ulta if they still do that right now with corona going on um I turned my mom um into loving this and her co-worker loves this now um so i have one of those and then just to show you i have a huge bottle of it on my vanity then i have a thing of ponytails that i keep with me because there's a lot of times that my mom is with me and she, she's like you got a ponytail and i'm like yeah um i have some band-aids i know they look kind of old but they're actually yellowy um because of they have the um, antibiotic already on the band-aid so that saves me a step but anyways I have one pack of wet ones so I need to see if I can find some more probably won't but that's okay I have a lipstick oh sorry a lipstick from Ulta it's in chocolate pink chocolate it's a really pretty color very nice nude very pretty on really any skin tone 
I have a eyeglass repair kit because you never know if you lose a screw in some glasses it's not a good thing so I like to keep that then I have some teeth flossers um, that I got at Walmart and this is like little toothpicks that came together in a set so got that at Walmart I've got another lipstick from Maybelline, I believe. Um, sorry, this is an undressed pink from Maybelline. I don't know what type of lipstick it is. Color Sensational. It's a very pretty pinky color. Um, so I keep that whenever I want to kind of zhuzh up my lips. Then I have that same brand. I got their, um, lip moisturizer. Love this stuff. This stuff is really good. Then I have a pen. I'll do that last. I have a Vera Bradley Mira and Charmant Meadow. And again, there's the bee. And just so you know, it's a two-sided mirror. And I got that when I went to the outlet. That was the last one in that pattern. I have a Lash Sensational Mascara in there. I have a full-size Poopery in Original Citrus. That stuff does work, by the way. Tweezers and fingernail, fingernail clippers. And then the last two items are um, some face, what is this called? This is called the Face Perfecting Pressed Powder. And I don't remember what shade I have it in, but it's probably the lightest one. This is from Pharmacy Cosmetics. And then I also have the Super Sparkle Lip Gloss from Pharmacy. And this is in Bubblegum. And, um, I actually am a beauty influencer for pharmacy, um, so kind of give you a little, um, explanation, I guess. This is a company that was founded in Turkey, so it's a European cosmetic company, and the really cool thing about European cosmetic companies is... They don't allow a lot of the chemicals that the U.S. allows in their cosmetic um, brands and stuff. So a lot of their products are a lot are more natural and just really, really good quality products. Now, I'm not trying to tell y'all y'all need to buy this. I honestly just became a beauty influencer just so I could get things half off. So if you if you sign up for pharmacy, you automatically get everything half off. And the crazy thing about it is the stuff is not expensive. Like that's the retail price for Zen mascara, which by the way, I love this mascara. This is the one I've been using for a while. It's only $8.90. So I get that half off at 4.45. Um and let's see, like the face perfecting powder. That's that's not it. Oh, excuse me, I got the hiccups now, guys. That this is a really, really good foundation. Um, I can't say enough good things about this company. But again, I'm not trying to sell this to y'all. But I will leave my link down in the description if you're interested. Just go and take a look. But $25 in this foundation, I swear to you, is so good. Like, this is high quality, tart, you know, all those upper um, high-end makeup companies like Urban Decay. This is, like, right up there with it. So, and I have samples, by the way. So, um, but I'm trying to find that perfecting powder. I want to say that that is $12. See, like, here's the BB one. That one's $14.90. That's the Terracotta, which is more expensive. Um, here it is, Face Perfecting Powder. This is what I have, and it's only 
um, for full retail, and I have the cool light color. So, but anyways, if you're interested, totally check it out. They have all kinds of stuff. They have makeup, they have brushes, they have hair care, shampoo, and then the most awesome thing is they have skin care. Um, and they have a skin care um, regimen for anybody, for any kind of skin type. And here's all the stuff about them, so if you want to pause the video. Also, all this is on the website. Um, they have an age reverses, like an aging system which is great that eye cream is amazing if you have very very dry skin like i do calendula is really good i have the face cream i use it every day um they have the oil and then tea tree if you have very sensitive skin and also acne prone skin this is great an aloe that's very good for any skin type i like to use the aloe cream for my morning moisturization and the calendula for my nightly but anyways i'm not going to go through the whole thing if you're interested check out the link if you have any questions let me know and again thank y'all for watching and i hope y'all enjoyed it and maybe i'll be back with some vera bradley videos and if y'all want some more pharmacy hey bentley say holler <laughs> all right guys i'll talk to you later bye